Hey, what's up guys? SkillsWG here and welcome back to another Brawlhalla video. Today we are learning how to beat passive players. Alright, and this is how to beat passive players like a diamond, how I know to beat passive players, right? Okay, so passive players, what are passive players and well how, well, how can you beat them? So passive players pretty much are, well, they're opposite of aggressive. They don't attack very often and their main goal is to try to get away from you and try to punish your attacks and sometimes they're not even good at punishing your attacks and they just mainly run away and then just throw out the easiest hitboxes that won't get punished get away from me to stop get snipe they don't even attack as much as i do they just mostly go away they do a bunch of these triple jumps get away from me way up here you know that's passive players but there's there's different kinds of passive there's the ones like that who just stay away from you as far as you can. And then there's ones that are, mo what I would say is most people, they are slow to attack, very passive, but they will attack when they think they have an opportunity to attack you. Okay, does that make sense? Um, but how do you beat these guys? All right, so for the first start, I, I don't play passive. I play very aggressive now, there's, now aggressive is not does it not mean attacking all the time either so don't attack all the time but you can move closer to your opponents to be aggressive and put pressure on your opponents so when the the first step to of beating a passive player is to finding out that they are passive in the first place okay uh just being aware of how, like them going away from you and their annoyance so because sometimes just them spacing you out doesn't mean that you they're playing passive they could still aggress you and hit you so first one is finding out if they're being passive by after a few you know after you miss a few attacks and they punish you and you're starting to get frustrated or annoyed that they're they keep hitting you you go like this and they just keep punishing you with a side attack all that stuff C calm yourself down calm yourself down and start l watching them as you do things okay if you stop attacking all right this is the thing that i notice the most when i'm being aggressive and attacking a lot and when i stop attacking they the game just slows down a, so much so much that the they don't attack there's just not much attacking going on then you know they're, they're playing passive okay so now you're, you're like okay now i know that this guy is playing passive i get close to them they kind of back away you know if i'm the taros uh, and I do this to them. I, they just go like this back away. Wait for me. They just come back on the edge and wait for me. So they're playing passive. What can I do? So one problem that lower, you know, level p players have, and even all the way up to plat. I mean, like it's just a, I, sometimes I have this problem, is that when you go to attack somebody and you and you see them right where Taros is right there, you just do this attack, right? You do this attack, or even like right where this Taros is, you expect them to stay there. Now that hit because he didn't move, but if he was to backdash, I would have missed. So if he was to do, you know, something like this and then do a down air, he would have he would have hit me because I would have been right where that right where that tarot is, tarot is. And the problem, and it's hard to get out of the idea that I need to attack right where they are. It's very hard to get out of that. But you need to learn that, especially for passive players, to not do this. Expect them. Now that you know that they're a passive player, expect them to not aggress you. And when you dash towards them or run towards them, they're going to do something else besides uh, attack you. It's very, very hard to get out of this, but it helps me uh, t uh, aggress the passive people. What do I do instead of attacking? Instead of doing this light attack uh, to attack him, what do I do instead? Well, there's couple things I can dash towards and then expect them to do a dash jump back or anything to go away and then attack way up here all right so I'm attacking at a different position than where he's at expecting him to go away from me um, just because they're passive doesn't mean they're always going to run away there's also the passive I wouldn't even know if they're called passive at this point but they're the people who spot dodge a lot you'll notice this a lot when you dash towards them and then the guy just spot dodges because he's scared that you're going to attack him right away. Whoop. So if they spot dodge, then, well, now you have your free combo move, right? You just kill him because you comboed him. It's so hard. I'm not going to lie. It's so hard to get out of that feeling. Um, one thing to do is also to dash jump towards them. 
because if they feel threatened, some passive players uh, will attack. If you get into their zone, right? They don't want you to be in their zone. This is why they go away. They don't like to be in their, their little bubble. They have a bubble right around here. If you're in their bubble, do they just want to get you out? Sometimes, sometimes. Not all, not all passive. They're all different. They're all different. So they want to get out of your bubble. So you go in this bubble and jump away. Pretend like you're attacking, and maybe they they attack. He does a neutral sig or something, and then you then you could punish it. All right, that's called baiting out an attack, uh, and baiting out attacks can, seem to be more common. You have to do it more often when you're playing a passive player. And trust me, when you are fighting a passive player, you do need to slow down your game a lot more. Especially the, especially those aggressive players out there that the, you know that have this problem. You need to slow your game down a lot to beat these guys. You need to work on baiting out attacks. You need to work on a movement towards your opponent and attacking in a different spot. Okay? So, what do like that? So then, okay. There's there's some things. What if they don't attack me at all? All right. There's there's those players out there who will not attack until you attack. Okay. Well then then you have to do the same thing I said here. Like so, if you're trying to aggress an opponent and they like to backdash or so like the top tarils, they like to backdash, they like to go down here, they like to go up here. What do I do? Well, the best thing I could do is try to pick your weapon that has like a good attack or like. A good range of attack. So axe is good, hammer's good, but you know bow has neutral air. Uh, it's a quick attack that hits all around you. Um, sword, nu neutral air, down air. Use the moves that have a wide range of attack and use those simple ones. Don't use very aggressive ones like down air on bow. You know that's those get too aggressive. You want to use very quick attacks that cover range as you can. So. Expect this guy to dodge. You jump up, jump up, and hit him with a hit him with a new chair. Expect him to get a, get out of the way. So sometimes when I'm playing passive people like this, like I have this tarot, I'm ter I'm a passive tarot. I like to do nitro sig up here. So the, what do I do? I jump twice. Expect him to jump twice and do a nair. You'll see me do that sometimes, and or a side air, you know. But nair is v much easier to hit on bow uh, than like a uh, side air or down air. Same with. Uh, uh, the, 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 the sword here you can do a jump nair you can do a jump recovery because see how much that hits off, off that area expecting them to go up this way now this is only if the guy goes goes up if he goes down here I try not to follow passive people off the stage personally I'm not very good off the stage so if he goes down there if I like if I'm over here and I jump towards him and he is Taros uh, he just goes like this and goes away down here. I'll I'll take my advantage on the stage. There's you do have a little bit of advantage being on stage, and that is, you know, being able to edge guard them if they try to come up. So that's fine. But a lot of passive players tend to try to jump away or just backdash away. Um, that you you will not be able to do this every single time. Get this right. This it's going to be a little more frustrating, a little more hard to do. And you have to keep your composure to be able to win. Okay, this is part. This is part of the game. It's it's part of spacing. It's part of even in melee where you guys think it's just so aggressive. You will see. I mean, I'm pretty sure that there's been more melee games with Jigglypuff and stuff like that that have had timeouts than than here in uh, Brahalla. You just have to use your movement. Like I've said before, use your movement to get close to your opponent, especially when they're being passive. And see what they do. If they decide, if they decide to attack you once you dash in, right? You're trying to okay. Now that they they you've learned that you can attack them like this. You've, you're attacking them way up here, or if they, or if they, you know, okay, I can do a side light because so if they decide to back dash right there, I come at them like this. I just do like that. Attack them out here. You learn to attack them out here. Now they start. Now they, when you start aggressing them, they're like, okay, I'm gonna light attack you. Well, there's two things you can do. You can do that jump I was talking to you about. If you do this jump, you can do a quick back dash. So if I do this and then he does a light attack, I can come back in like that and attack. So boom, boom, he thinks I'm gonna attack, then he neutralites, then that's a punish. I can punish him. Uh, it, these are all baiting, you know, these are all baiting out attacks that he it's, he's getting scared. He's getting nervous. The passive people who are running all over the place are starting to get nervous because you're learning 
how to adapt to them. That's the biggest thing, is adapting to passive players. You can still play aggressive against most most uh, other, you know, styles of play. And it works. Like, I, I'm, I'm, a, I'm not, like, the most aggressive person, but I'm pretty aggressive when it comes to this game. And when I notice someone's playing slow or passive, I you'll see my game slow down way more where I'm... Where I'm still being really close to the opponent. I'm still being very close to them, but I'm not attacking as much. I'm seeing if they, if they make a mistake, right? And I'm trying to wait and see if I can get into a position to perfectly punish them rather than kind of just guess that they're going to be closer to me because of what other people have done. Passive players are probably more relevant, but also at the same time, more people know how to deal with it so it's not as big a deal as it is in lower ranks when passive passive just and I've been there. I've been there. I've I I don't I don't like passive. It's not my cup of tea. I don't, I haven't find more fun being more aggressive. It's there and you have to learn to adapt to them to be able to win your game. And this is how, you know, pros and once you ad learn to adapt and know how to fight this and attack it, you're going to have much better chance of winning than you are if you get tilted and just keep being aggressive the whole time one thing i've noticed that in my personal experience is that passive players are losing words don't work passive players who are starting to lose they tend to be more aggressive towards the end of the match so they start making more mistakes because they're not used to being an aggressive player if you've played a passive your whole time you're not you're not attacking a lot but once you get down you feel like you need to attack in order to uh to get your opponent dead and thus making more mistakes now this is not always the case once again like nothing's ever the same okay it's, it's still gonna be hard like these tips will help sometimes and in fact they'll they, they should help a lot um especially like passive players they just don't want to attack so make them try to attack and if they don't, use those use those wide moves to try to hit them in different spots where you're not used to. Okay? That's going to be your best bet to try to be passive. Also, one other tip I have is throwing your weapon. Okay? So throwing your weapon will make them maybe more confused. Maybe use a dodge um, if they're going to stay right there. Uh, like where this Taros is. Uh, you could just from far away because sometimes passive players just stand in one spot waiting for you to aggress them if you're far away so what can you do you can just dash and throw your weapon they will they dodge will they spot dodge will they jump look what they do after they throw in the weapon if they keep jumping a lot right if they're a big jumper throw your weapon like that hit them up in the air okay you can grab your weapon after that it's not always don't do this all the time because if they if you miss you just lose your weapon if there's another weapon on the field like there is right here just throw your weapon grab this other one and then see what they do after that okay because this will this will kind of confuse them a little bit um and maybe make them a little flustered of what they're doing and it might make them just run away even more that's fine if they if you have them off the stage like this you have a better opportunity to try to keep them off the stage than if you have, than if they're on the stage, in, you know, if they're even, even like this. This is even, but if you have them off the stage, you have a better opportunity to wait for them to punish them on the, on the stage itself. Well, guys, I hope that explains enough. I, I hope I didn't ramble too much. I did my best to try to explain. It's hard to explain when you're not in a game. And even then, it's kind of hard to explain how to be passive. Like, the three main points is to work on being ag aggressive with your movement, bait out those dodges, attack in a spot where they not will not be with attacks that are very quick and not easy to punish. Okay, that'll help you so much. So Spear Nair is a great idea, right? Going up here and using a Spear Nair. Those kind of moves will help you beat passive players. Being calm, and adapting to the passive gameplay by being a little bit slower yourself and not put putting out hitboxes that are just easy to punish, which is gonna be like right in this area. One thing, let me let me leave on this. Some players, if you like, let's just say this Nash is actually in the middle of the stage, okay? And you're kind of getting pushed away. But when you try to go attack them or go towards them, 
a lot of players, say I'm the Nash now, like to backdash and run to the edge of the stage and then attack. Expecting you to do a move like this so that when you go for the attack, you're gonna, you're gonna miss again. But what you gotta do is forward dash all the way to the edge and then side it, or, you know, do whatever move you're gonna do all the way to the edge of the stage. Okay, a lot of players will fall, boop, and you just do a side lay all the way to the edge of the stage. That will punish them from also being very passive and running to the edge of the stage right here. And I, I will see that happen a lot too. Once again, thanks for watching. Hopefully I didn't ramble too much. Hopefully I can edit the video to make it make sense. <laughs> and if it guys, if it helped you, please hit, leave a like button. Hit a little, little push the like button down below. Sub subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a comment if you have any questions and everybody else that has any other answers please help each other out in the comments so we can all beat the passive players <laughs> thanks for watching we'll see you next time peace